I think something that we are losing right now, and something I really care about very much, is the, this, this idea that you have to be singular as an artist. You, it can't be just, you know, co copying can be part of the game, obviously, but, and it should be at some point, but, but you have to find a voice that's, that's proper to you. And if today in Europe, or, you know, I go to a film fund with a, or a broadcaster with a project, and that's a, that's a screenplay, and I tell them, this is, I'm going to do this, and chances are it's going to be judged by a commission, and the commissions are made of bureaucrats or pseudo-intellectuals disguising, you know, so I don't know, if, uh, civil servants, and they're going to go for the average. They always go for the average. So, so in a way, the films that you're going to see, uh, chances are, in the European system, uh, America is different, it's, it's a different hell, but uh, I'm not going to, I mean, we might talk about it later, but, but in Europe, I'm just talking about what I, what I know, it's always going to be the, the less singular possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, because I, in my first film, it was a terrible wall to make it happen. So there is an institutional... Uh, re reluctance to, to, to anything that's singular. That's why I, I, I'm, so, um, uh, I'm, so, I'm so impressed by painters because they can really, you know, they don't need stupid commissions. Uh, they can make their movies, you know, and, and my own master, Bill Attar, just that, you know, told me that you have to make your movie, you know, that's you have, whatever it takes, take your iPhone. And um, and it's strange that the more people take their iPhones to make their movies, the more standardized everything gets. You know, it's, it's weird that we have the diversity of point of views, but people copy each other like never before. Even in the Western world, singularity is despised mm -hmm. because for many reasons. Why are people put, putting themselves in, on TikTok to, to watch themselves and communicate what they have to say? Is it democracy? I don't want to see your face. I don't want to see, I'm not interested. Is it like the expression of art? This bullshit. I mean, for me as a filmmaker, obstacles are part of the, uh, are part of the, uh, of the difficulty, the, the struggle is with yourself, with the material, material world, the physical world, that's always been part of the human expression. And now we're fucking it up sorry for my language, with the, with, but because we're in love with technology, we want to, be, to give so much of our power to the computer and zeros and ones, and it, it, you know, it's gonna bring us to hell way before the climate change screws us up. I often, or even what you said earlier about, oh, you have to make that movie, even if it takes taking your iPhone to make the movie, but then when many people are doing it, it's not really worth it anymore, or it just, it's very, it's not really good anymore. So I often wonder, because my generation, what a lot of artists are doing is, because the struggle of, you know, financially, but also yeah. getting represented, getting attention, um, is so hard and it's so gatekept. It's reliant on very old structures. So they take their phones and the poets, they publish um, their work online. The painters, they film their process, all of these things. So what we are doing, our generation of artists, we go online, a big part of them. And, but because we do that, it often gets devalued by older institutions and I mean there is a point for what art what art is good but we have I personally think we have found an answer to this because we have these means in technology where we can mm, cheer each other up or find solutions but then how how are we supposed to do that like how well, are we going to cheer them up you know speaking as what, Laszlo, you want to No, I just wanted to say something to this. I mean, when I talk to you know, studio people all the time, like executives in Hollywood. All they want to do is please the youth. Yeah. There's, not, there's nothing, I mean, I don't, they want to second guess the audience to the extent that they want to bring it down to their imagined right. audience. Right. So they take everybody for idiots, basically. They're possibly very idiotic themselves. So they're definitely not keeping the gates for 
you know, old people. They want to make films for the imagined young people. They don't even exist.